A ty si sam, 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 i ja znam, 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 to bit će lom, lom, lom. A je to mi loko, loko. You're fantastic, amen. Our girl was not ready, but we are. We are ready to discuss the nine acts that rehearsed on day three of rehearsals at Eurovision 2021. <laughs> they were San Marino Sanit, Estonia Ukusuvist, Czech Republic Benny Cristo, Greece Stefania, Austria Vincent Bueno, Poland Rafal, Moldova Give Me Some, Sugar, Natalia Gordienko, Iceland Dathi Algagna Magnet, and Serbia Who? Hurricane, ha, hurricane, ha, 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 hurricane. In any case, are you guys ready to pick our winners, our losers, and our growers? <laughs> Let's do this! Yes, we are caffeinated, y'all. I got some sleep last night and I am ready to go to talk about the action. Let's start with Mr. Sinan Sadula on the sofa. Who is your first winner? of the day. First, I would like to say this stuff is so cozy, like student hotel, thank you so much for this. Oh my goodness, thank you for the reminder. Everything you can imagine is real here at the student hotel. Thank you for hosting us here in Rotterdam. Oh, if we're even accepting your issues. <laughs> <laughs> that box is perfect for you, girl. Because right next to me is the stone in my shoe. My lifelong issue. Stone in my shoe. All right, listen, hunty. We're going back to Mr. Sina and Sadula on the sofa. So my winner, actually, I might have two winners. But maybe the first one is slightly a little bit because of personal reasons. It is. Loco, loco, Serbia, hurricane. I thought this was perfection. Like, perfection. The first rehearsal, the second one, and the third one. I mean, the first take, the second take, and the third take. I think they were so gorgeous, sexy, and they were feeling it all the time. You know, the beat, and it is, you know, you can feel that when you dance and sing, and you know, you feel the beat. They were so sexy dancing to the beat. I mean, and then all this hair, wow. And all these um, clothes and outfits, I'm so happy. And the vocals were all the time on point. Like I didn't hear any you know, false note or something like that. Mm. Yeah. You know what, when I look at them, I think of the Kentucky Derby horse race because I see three thoroughbred stallions, big muscular legs, running, working, twerking, ready to slay the stage. They had so much energy, so much effervescence, and most importantly, the voice. Sonia oh. is the anchor of this. She just serves it. Yeah. And the other two also sing beautifully, but I say she's oh the anchor because she's at the center. Oh Their did moves. You see, did you see Ivana? She was like, oh, can I show you the move? This is my favorite move. She yeah. goes, she's like, Yes! Woo! <laughs> Please blur that if you saw my body. Please blur. And Sonia was like, ah! that was amazing. Like, girls, this is, this is my favorite. Hair for days. They moved away from the 80s music video. In retrospect, the 80s music video made it look cheap. Now it looks expensive. Now it looks contemporary. They told me, their manager told me afterwards that they didn't like the smoke release. They wanted yeah, to be- it was too long. Oh, they're gonna make it longer. Oh. They're gonna make it longer. What? Longer and bigger, there needs to be more. They paid for that, they need to get their smoke. Okay. In any case, Suzanne, who is your first winner of the day? My first winner of the day is Iceland because they're so fantastic. I just, I've loved Dottie and his team since last year. Iceland was one of my top picks last year. And it's just so much fun. It's just so real. It's just so mm. down to earth. And there's something to be said for that. Yeah. I love that um, very simple dance march that they've got going on. I love their matching tees. I love that they're really just 
a team and that they're a family. And the message of the song, you're just so fantastic. He talks about his one true love, their decade of love, how it grows and grows and grows. And I think it's just so sweet. Plus, the staging, does it get better, y'all, than rainbows and unicorns and an 80s emblem. Okay, so Dottie and team, one thing you could have done for me to make the staging a little better, and I think there's time. There's definitely time before the 22nd. If you could just add a cat up there Aww. with the rainbow and the unicorn, if you could add a cat, your staging would be perfect. But I just, I did. I love the song. I love the energy. I love the message. Now, could you please demonstrate the dance move for the little duckies at home who may not have seen? I don't know that I can because I think I'm going to need y'all to Girl, you need to get on. Your, your head is out of the frame, so you oh, need to do, so dip it low. I don't know how I'm so, I, Now I really feel like Dottie out of the frame because he's so tall. So I, I don't know how. Am I in the frame? I don't know how to do this, but it's like they're all standing in unison, and maybe there's like this, and they all just kind of march. I, I, I can't do it. <laughs> all right, thank you so yeah. much. Yes, we support you. <laughs> Hashtag pray for Suzanne. Sinan, thoughts on Iceland? Iceland, oh, uh, I don't know why, but I thought they, they have hidden something from the press media. I mean, about the staging. I think it looked not 100% completed. No idea why. Maybe because of because it is the first rehearsal. Mm. I guess. Or is the cat? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. And but I love you know the video game theme. Yeah. That's you nice. know they have a video game daddy, and I it's really reflected uh, the video game, and I think it was fun, and with all the you know uh, animations of them. Mm. On the side LED screen, I think it was very cute. And the last uh, shoot, the last camera shoot was amazing. They were like, like this, and then after five seconds, they stay like this, and then you know the fire technique. It was really cool, actually. Yeah, they trick you into thinking it's over, and then they're standing yeah. there, and then after a few seconds, you get the shh geyser. Yeah. It's really nice. If I'm not mistaken, in the pr press conference, they shared that they were trying to fill up the entire three minutes, and that's why there was such a pause. <laughs> really? oh. I think so. It was quite cute. It's very them, very quirky, very different. Um, I like the homemade nature of this. The instruments, they look good and sleek, but you can tell they're homemade. And then they come together, these three parts of a circ circular piano, very polyselling you know, and Ovi. She designed that with her father. She also shared, and just because she's pregnant she needed something that she could hold and carry that wouldn't be add too much pressure or be too heavy because they're having Laura their second daughter soon shout out to Laura yes okay. Laura <laughs> This, I think, will appeal to a lot of people. You know what? Because sometimes people at Eurovision, they're perspiring ambition. Like, we are gorgeous. We are sexy. We are Zoolander. Mm. Woo. They ain't doing any of that. It's about having fun, being with their friends, being cute, being quirky. Yeah, I think there is a fine line between, like, lovable, likable, adorable, and then cringe and lame. But thankfully, this falls on that side. Mm. I think the graph... Lovable, lovable, adorable. Totally the side. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking more about the metaphor, not the person. But anyways, this is the thing. The video graphics of like all of Gagna Magnet lowering like a curtain, that is so cool. Do you know what I'm talking about? That moment, it's just, that's really, really quite sweet. So I haven't actually named my winner of the day. My first winner is San Marino Sanit Adrenalina. Yes. Girl, she had me lit. It was the sound. She sounded so good live. Let there be no doubt, she can own this song. Sonically, it's just so boom in your face. Visually, it was a feast. There was color. There was movement on this kind of turntable that was going. There were fantastic shots. Overhead, Sunit disappears because she's on the turntable, but then the floor becomes her face in like a pink wig or a green wig. I can't remember. It was just so bold. When the rapper comes out, you know, Flo Rider's stand in, it didn't matter that it wasn't Flo Rider because he was good. Yeah. That rap break just yeah. fits so naturally into the song. You know, who would have thought? Eth um, Eritrean instrumentation, you know, Italian pop, you know, American rapper, it works. It, it, 
You know who the glue? The glue is Sunit. The glue, the freaky queen, brings all these things together. She sounded great, and she can move. We talked about this in our interview afterwards. She's not a dancer, but she's a mover. I was like, girl, you're a dancer, because she can move. And I have to tell you a trick she told me. I was like, how do you do the dance? And so for our boomerang, she showed me. It goes head, breast, booty. Head, breast, booty. That's how head, breast, booty. Head, breast, booty. Head, breast, booty. Head, breast, booty. Head, little. So that's how she does it. And she does it so, so well. Be a TikTok. Honestly, the HBB. But look, she is my first winner. Now, Sinan. Do you have thoughts on Sunit? Yes, she's actually my second winner. Actually, she first first winner. I mean, together with Hurricane, but Hurricane a little bit slightly better because of personal reasons, you know. <laughs> yes, um, I love Sunit. I mean, you know that part when this uh, rapper came, I really felt her energy a lot. She was like, you know, dancing and just having fun. And uh, the staging was really beautiful. I love that, you know, in the beginning, I don't know, is, is it a crown or really... Yeah, she said it was a type of crown in our interview. It's so beautiful. Is it gold? Well, I don't think it's real. No. No. <laughs> that would have been... <laughs> Heavy. That yeah, would have, <laughs> that would have bankrupted the freaky trip to Rotterdam. But it is really quality and beautiful and really really art like and creative I think. And she sounded live really good. Yes. Really really good. Thoughts on Sunit? Sunit was a great way to begin the morning. She's got such fantastic energy. Um, everyone is dying to know is Flo Rida gonna make it to Rotterdam? <laughs> Or is he going to be detained at the bikini contest? And the live stream wants to know, is he judging? Is he going to be in a Speedo? Like, what's the deal? Question, if Flo Rida comes here, will you get in a bikini to help the cause? Why would I get in a bikini to help the cause? Why don't you get in your Speedo for him? Hey, if there's a contest... Ooh. And it will get flow right in here. I'm ready to go. But what I what I loved the most was the opening with the crown. Yeah. Um, to me, it kind of and it kind of looked like a Chinese dragon from Chinese New Year from mm. a distance. It even had like kind of cat ears. But anyway, great way to start the morning. It actually reminded me of her freaky trip. Salvador Sobral cover of Amar Pelos Deutsch. It had this sort of religious theme. I think we even saw the Virgin Mary or Mother Mary. There were different images in there within the golden, basically, basically Catholic iconography is what I was thinking of. In any case, so who's next winner? We've done, I did Sunit, that was Sunit. So we go back to Sinan. Oh, you did, you gave us your second winner. Yes, bitch. So it's over to you, winner number two. My second winner of the day is Austria, Vincent Bueno and Amen. Um, I really loved the, the video, right? I loved the symbolism of the black bird. I loved the symbolism of the red bird. Um, so Dottie, if you could just add a cat. Vincent, if you could bring the bird back. Um, I, I, I need some animal love here. Boy, I'm missing my sweet kitties. Okay, so. But I just, I love this song. Vincent sings about the end of a relationship being like a funeral. And for anyone who's ever come out of a long-term relationship, and I probably shouldn't even say long-term because I've really only had one relationship my whole life. For anyone coming out of a relationship, it, it does feel like a funeral. It feels like a death. Um, and what I loved about the birds is that you've got the death symbolism and then you've got the red bird, which is vitality and life. Um, but. Vincent fills the stage, his beautiful Austrian Filipino face, those high yes. cheekbones, that smile, he fills the stage. I said this yesterday about Heike in Belgium. Mm. He doesn't need a lot of staging, though the birds would be nice. There's still time, Vincent, there's still time. Um, on I that note. Beautiful. And on the note of no birds, amen, so it is. My girl, in our interview, which you can watch on the Weeby Blogs YouTube channel, he actually said that his outfit symbolizes the blackbird, the sparkle. Yeah. You know, his outfit was, was just fantastic. That long, flowy sequin jacket. Um, Vincent's just a beauty. And I will qualify again. I am not attracted to Asian men because they look too much like this and he's my brother. But Vincent is just the most one of the most beautiful men I've ever laid my eyes on. That face, 
that voice. Had the opportunity to talk to Brian, um, one of his backup singers, and just lovely. You know, as I think about this, yesterday I commented on how hospitable Cyprus is. Girl, and I think I girl, <laughs> girl, 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 our Thai food is getting cold, so I need you to wrap it up. Also, because they're just also so kind and warm from, I mean, we've got Vincent this year, we had Cesar Sampson a couple of years ago, just really great people. Where's that sand glass clock? I think, I think we need to turn it. Yes, please. Thank you so much, Diego from Colombia. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to put a time limit on you. Could you move your Could you move your issues, please? My issues. <laughs> All right, listen, Hunty. That was a beautiful performance. It was just it silenced us. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes something is so simple, so pure, so beautiful. You, you just want to watch and enjoy. I've been behind this the whole time. I think this is going to the final. I'm so much more confident of that now. I think he will amp up the vocal. He was holding back deliberately. He told us in our interview because he wants to you know rest the voice, protect the goods. This was just so tasteful and classy. I don't have much more to add um, beyond the fact I'm increasingly confident that this jury, this is jury bait. This is jury bait. It's so good. Yeah, I, I can say that I love the lights a lot. They did really good uh, with this staging. And we can understand about, you know, not uh, singing, you know, 100%, uh, you know, with his voice because it is a rehearsal. He needs to, you know, save his voice for the semifinal, as the other singers did. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it is time for my second winner. I'm going through this list. And I've got to say, today people were consistently good. But I'm going to go with Greece Stefania. Yes. I've got to say, she is the youngest and freshest face we saw today. It's interesting. She wears a sexy cat suit, and yet it's still somehow demure. You know how you can, you actually do this very well. You can toe the line between, between being sexy but also being sweet. And it's just so appropriate for her. She's got this fresh face. She comes out, she winks, she smiles. There's this exuberance, beautiful shot when you see the audience, well, what would be the audience, the green room and the reduced audience behind her and all those beautiful lights. And there she is having her moment on this big stage. She wasn't intimidated. She looked great and she shined bright. Yes, there are some issues with the green screen projection, whatever, the green screening, basically. You key things out. They will refine that. This was a rehearsal. A rehearsal is to rehearse. And I actually quite like that the dancers look like the Just Dance dancers. It gives a familiarity. Um, and throughout the show, they come together. You know, initially you see some socks and some shorts, and then you see like a jacket, and then later you see like some trousers, and then they become bodies of dancers moving. It's interesting that they're deleted because Stefania remains in focus. If you had dancers, they might be distracting because you know some, it's so cliche to have Eurovision dancers like four on each side, blah blah blah. But here you've got the dancers, but the attention is still all on Stefania. Yeah. I think it's a really really nice effect. They will improve this it was just a few minor things you know like at one point she was severed very death becomes her goldie Hawn. but you know what you get two stephanie's instead of one amen hallelujah and most important they were sending her to the wrong place and you know severing her body instead of a decapitation hey we're confusing belgium greece it's all coming together but look i think this honestly i think this is a top three in the semi-final. I really do. I could see this really killing it with the televote. She's so fresh, telegenic. Um, I have a betting friend who's really wise on this stuff, and he, was, he said, yeah, he agreed. And so I'm like, yes, oh, queen. Oh, wow. In any case, thoughts? I think the staging fit her a lot. I mean, it's young, it's modern, it's really, you know, purple, <laughs> pink, you know, teenager colors. And she sounded so great live. And um, she was performing, you know, I felt that um, she was ready to get on that stage and she showed also there, she was like, you know, doing her thing. I really love that. Well, we've talked about the showers. Let's talk about the growers. Wait, I, I want to talk about Stephania. Didn't you already? Uh, no, you did not give me an opportunity. Well, the Pegasus is flying to you, my queen. <laughs> Speak. Hello, Pegasus. Hello, Pegasus. <laughs> so, Stephania. My, my wish from you is that in the cityscape, could you just add a tree and a cat? <laughs> no, seriously, I am totally missing the cat in the tree. Thank you for having the cat saved last year. But no, what I love about this, the first thing I love, William actually touched on, her classic wholesome beauty. She's able to pull off a look that 
is classic, wholesome, but sexy at the same time. Age and appropriate. It's age appropriate, but I mean, you commented that I pull off a similar look and I am clearly much older than her, but there's just something about your being that pulls that off and love that look on her. She is a classic beauty, she is wholesome. So I miss New York City. It's always been one of my favorite places to go. And as the cityscapes came into the background, I have no idea which cityscapes were selected. I thought that was really cool because it just made me want to go roam a big city and just have a day of adventure. I thought it was fun as she climbed the stairs in the city. The other thing that I really loved about this staging was as the dancers appeared on the green screens, as she's walking away from them, the last one, he goes up into a handstand and she just kind of gets him right into place and I thought that was just so cute. If you ever want to practice yoga or teach yoga, we should totally chat about yoga, Stephania. It's also an act filled with danger. They have a staircase, and at one point, one I think it was the second run through, one of the dancers on the staircase, he lost his footing, and he could have fallen. You know, we didn't see him because he was greened out, but like his leg was like, ah! But then that leg did find its way back, so well done to him. Now look, we need to discuss our growers. So Sinan, who improved the most for you today? Exceeded your expectations from before rehearsals? Woo! Oh my gosh. Uh, Do you need the list, honey? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm. All right. Well, I have two. Moldova and Poland. Let's take it one at a time, starting with Moldova. Moldova. I, you know, I was expecting, you know, donuts, lollipops, and, you know, I was ready to say, okay, um... Mm. But, but it was really, it was simpler and it was really, you know, mm, gorgeous staging. And can you tell them what you told me earlier on Bulgarian radio, radio Sinan is from Bulgaria, they yeah. played this song. A lot, like very often. We love this song in Bulgaria a lot, yeah. And she sounded great live, although that last note she didn't uh, sing it. And she told why on an interview with you that she needs to save her voice because it's really high and it's really long. That high note is really long. So yeah, we can understand that. And the graphics were amazing. You know, people were like, where's the sugar? I was like, girl, don't you see the cubes? Cubes, cubes sugar. She's the sugar. sugar. I mean. Or yes. And yeah. That's my grower. Funny story. So she was very eager to do press. Her team was very eager to do press. They were standing in the line. And then one of the one of the volunteers, I think it was either, it must have been the host broadcaster, was like, oh, please come to your makeup consultation. And she was like, no, I've got hair and I've got makeup. I want to do interviews. And they're like, no, honey. So they escorted her off for like an hour. And then she like rushed back, still with no makeup and no different hair. She just wants to be among the people. She's such a lovely woman. And she told me in our interview, which you can watch on the Weebie Blogs YouTube channel, that She's not this, she didn't grow up rich and privileged. Her mother died when she was very, very young. And so she understands struggle. She understands what it means to be alone. And that's one reason she's such an optimistic and hopeful person because she's managed to find her way through those dark days, through that difficulty. And now she's giving the world sugar. And I just think it's a lovely kind of footnote into her journey. Because sometimes people just see the glamour on her Instagram and they assume everything's been handed to her. No, she's a woman who has lived, who has struggled and who has overcome. Overcome. And today she slayed. To me, this is going to pick up a lot of votes, all of, especially in the East. You know, as you were saying, hit in Bulgaria. It, it, this could chart in Russia. They have a Russian version. It's just feel good, slick. I like that they kept things simple. I like that it's just a cube behind her, basically. This geometric cube with perpendicular lines. But depending on the angle, it looks like she's in the matrix. It looks like she's in a disco ball, the pattern of a disco ball, you know, all split up. It's just very eye-catching and simple. She's on a turntable, a diamond that spins. And she told me she's got to remember to go this way. She's got to remember to go that way. She's got to be careful not to fall off while also doing her choreography, while also singing. It's a lot to remember. This is not an Isaiah Firebrace situation with Australia a few years ago, where it was kind of like, why is he on this, you know, lazy Susan? Is he looking for the salad bar? It's over there. This was just eye-catching and fun and memorable, and my goodness. I re this is going through. Sometimes simplicity is all you need. They will polish and perfect this. She did not do the big note today, because why would you? Save the voice. Edna Lena, save the voice. This is about being smart and delivering when it matters most. Suzanne. 
Um, so I also have two growers, <clears throat> Moldova being one of them. So I just was not a fan at all of the blue lingerie, the blue lips with sugar. Now, I could have eaten ice cream all day long watching her video, but I wasn't initially a fan. And this was just so polished and classy and fun that I really, really enjoyed this. You didn't need all the sweets and all of the actual sugar to to make the song so this was a grower for me well funny enough your your second grower poland is also my grower so this really surprised me he added dynamic movement you know in the national not national final in the music video and on the voice kids poland he was a bit wooden kind of like you know ride of our life now he is loose our man has greased the wheels lubricated those wheels and they are spinning very very fast this ride is not going to be bumpy it's going to be smooth we're going to glide down that highway i really liked it visually i liked the lights i liked his movement the final minute to be honest his voice really it just went it, it, it was gone like it just i don't know what happened maybe he needs to do more breathing exercises but if he can maintain the vocals he had in the first two minutes that final minute you know that will go away this is a rehearsal again so i'm not so worried um i just left with really positive feelings like it just continuously grows on me, and I find myself singing it. And he, of course, is just so charismatic. We talked in our interview on the Weeby Blogs YouTube channel about his big daddy energy. Be sure and watch that. He explains why he thinks, you know, housewives and grandmothers love him. Because apparently, his fan base has a lot of older people. Maybe he's like the perfect person to bring home, you know, for your daughter to bring home. In any case, thoughts on Rafal? Um. I don't have a lot of thoughts on Poland's song this year. Um, he's he's quite handsome. I get the big daddy energy. <laughs> um, <laughs> outside of that, I just don't have a lot to say about Poland's song. All right. Well, look, Suzanne, who is your grower of the day? We haven't discussed the following countries. Estonia and Czech Republic. So we're about to discuss one of those. My grower, for, or my second grower for the day outside of Moldova is Estonia. Um, so since last year, or I guess I, would, I should say year before last, I thought that Uku was just an incredibly handsome man. And wow, Estonia, two consecutive years, they picked good looking men. Um, the lucky one, you know, the video, was kind of like watching a scene from a bad soap opera at all I could think is, dude, you are the lucky one. She's walking away. Let her go with whomever this is because a liar is a liar and a cheater is a cheater and you don't need her. Um, but the staging today just really did something for me. He looked incredibly sexy in his tuxedo with the open shirt, the tie just hanging. He looked as sexy as he looked. It looked as though it had been a long day or a long night. I think the latter. Any, well, anyone who's ever been in a bad relationship knows every moment can just seem so long. And um, But it grew on me. There was this whole water effect, this vast, expansive ocean. At one point, he's drowning, and it's, you know, I just, it was, I really enjoyed it so much more than I thought I would. I thought I would enjoy looking at Uku, but no, I had no idea that I would actually enjoy the performance itself. This was so much better than it was. It's just so much better. I think cleaning it up and letting him be the focus, the chains are gone. The constantly changing colors are gone. Now it's a man drowning in the water, a man emerging from that storm to face another one, standing tall. We've said this before. He does squats. He is solid. His ground may shake, but he will still be standing. It all comes through now. This is much cleaner, much tighter. Um, he also grew out his chest hair. Did you notice? I did not notice his chest hair. It was just a visual difference that really stood out oh. to me. I think he wanted to portray it more of a ruggedness. Perhaps there will be wax ahead of the grand final. I, we haven't asked. He's not. He actually said um, that he's not going to be doing a lot of interviews or any interviews really because he wants to focus on his performance. So this is a man who wants to make it to the final. He's like really focused. So, if we could ask you one question, apparently that question would be. Do you plan on shaving your chest? In any case, thoughts on Uku? <laughs> well, <laughs> as you said about about squatting, I need to do my workout as well. Like I've yeah. got the gym from ten to eleven. You can have it. All right. Well, there is one act we have not yet discussed. 
And that is Benny Cristo from the Czech Republic. He had on a gorgeous golden jacket. I really think this popped out. It's a fantastic color choice for him. He's such a sweetheart. He actually sent us a voice message on the Instagram account when we were driving back tonight. And he was like, thank you so much for sharing our rehearsal. Thank you so much for sharing our press conference. He's really in touch with his fans. He's paying attention. And I, I just think he, he's so positive. Um, during his performance, I felt like he was a little tired, actually. Yeah. Maybe yeah. sluggish. These have been stressful days getting here, um, you know, unpacking, just settling in. So Testing. Yeah, uh -huh. it's, it's a lot going on. And he will no doubt be in finer form for his second rehearsal. I think the dancing's great. It just needs more energy. And that will come from him. Because he's the secret ingredient to all of this. When he is on, it will be on. He needs no staging. But right now, it felt, because his energy wasn't at 100%, the stage felt a little empty to me. It felt like they were getting lost and swallowed by the stage. Um, but I think they'll probably have tighter camera angles goals when they get to the next rehearsal um, and that will sort out a lot of the issues. Um, Benny just has so much charisma and what I loved most was just Benny himself on stage today. The the gold jacket that's kind of like a leather, letterman's jacket with the black cuffs around the um, the wrist and the neck. I loved just he was wearing, I believe it was like a black sequiny top, at least a black shirt underneath it. There was some sort of pink design on the gold jacket and I loved his just very casual jogger pants that had the stripe down the side and his sneakers. Like I was dying to see those sneakers up close and personal and see the design on the sides of the sneakers. So Benny is his own secret sauce. Oh girl, Cholula, El Diablo, Sriracha, Benny Cristo. Yeah, I think, well, my favorite part actually of the staging was the beginning. You know, yeah. I think it was very effective with the, were, were they sticks, like LED sticks? Yeah, and um, yeah, it was a little, a little bit lazy, but as you said, he was probably tired and yeah with all the stuff i completely agree on everything you said actually yeah you don't have to agree i do oh i love that we are sisters <laughs> sister, <laughs> yeah. <Woo>. sister. <laughs> you know what i call her sister Woo. do you want to be carlotta or do you want to be larita I want to be Larita. She has a cat. Carlotta's got that beautiful blonde hair. Larita is a beautiful hoppa. Carlotta is also a beautiful person. Carlotta uh, has, a, has a really cute brother and they have a great relationship. We actually have a photo. Great energy. Carlotta Loved them. We rode their hot air balloon. Like we rode their hot air balloon. I love Larita and, and the cat. I just, I just, oh my gosh, I love Deutschland. Ich liebe dich. Look. Deutschland. Yeah, ich wow. liebe Deutschland. Langsam, langsam. The English class have begun their first um act. Gleich um die Ecke, honey. No, honey. Du bist für mich nicht. Yes. Ich bin für dich nicht. I am so hungry. All right, let's look. Yes. That's what we think. What do you think? Who of the nine countries today gave the best rehearsal? Who elevated? Who was a shower? And who was the grower, honey? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, share. We are on the live stream day in and day out for you. You. Wait, how does she do it? You. You know the LOD woman. You. You. Amir. Girl. Oh, sorry. You. Yes. So. You need to close this out. We have a lot of social media, so please join us there. <laughs> and we will see you later. Bye!